got a local mom sharing some green living tips for Easter. Joining us tonight for our Foxy Moms Go Green segment is Diane Bertini talking about ways to be eco-friendly this Easter. So first, thanks for coming in tonight. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me. No problem. We have the little uh, egg wheel over <laughs> here, and you're saying all of these have been dyed, not using the typical kits that you would go grab in the grocery store, right? Right. So those kits come with synthetic food colorings, mm -hmm. which are not good for the environment sure. or us, but these have all been dyed um, with with the juice of colorful produce found in the kitchen oh. so um, or juice or uh, produce and spices the beautiful yellow one here comes from turmeric Oh, yeah. very nice. And you use like what, different berries and stuff too? Or? Absolutely, yeah. The blue ones are from um, blueberries and you just cook oh, them down yeah. um, in the water, add a little bit of vinegar and then set your eggs in there and it's fun to see what comes out. Yeah, because you don't really know where the ones you buy in the store, I mean, you know yellow is going to turn yellow. Exactly. Blue turn blue, so mm. kind of leaves that little mystery in there, yes. right? Yes, and the kids love it. Yeah. Okay, well, when you're going to fill up the Easter baskets this Easter, you kind of are thinking outside the box, not your traditional candy and the toys and stuff, but I like the idea of the little mini garden that you can do with the children, right? Absolutely, and kids love to play in the dirt, so this, this yeah. is something <laughs> productive that they can do in the dirt. Um, you just put together some little pots and some seeds and let them have at it. A watering can would be fun. Mm -hmm. um, I like the idea of reusing the Easter basket, the grass, and the plastic eggs and things that are found at a second-hand store. Okay. Um, and then I err on the side of buying useful items rather than disposable items. Sure. So um, I've put a couple of books in here that I found at a second-hand store. You'd never know it. They look brand new. Yeah. Um, some fun natural soap. This one is um, carrot and pomegranate Ooh. flavor. Tis the season. That sounds yummy. Uh, yes. Right. Um, and then um, at the end of the holiday, be sure to gather up the basket, the plastic eggs, and the grass. Tuck it away for next year for the Easter Bunny reuse to reuse. Them all. Absolutely. They still look the same every year yes. anyway, so why not, right? <laughs> right. Well, thanks so much for coming in. Some great tips. I love the Easter dye idea. That's a really clever idea. Well, we'd like to hear from you. You can submit a tip for your Green Living Tips for a chance for us to share them live. To do that, all you need to do is go to our website, fox21news.com, and click on the Foxy Moms link near the top of the page. Healthier dog toys. This Colorado man created just that. A look at some of those toys still to come. And college students may feel motivated to finish in four years. We'll tell you why after the break. <laughs> 